Now that we've looked at graphical vector addition, we want to look at graphical vector subtraction. Now when we're subtracting vectors, it's really similar to the processes we used when we were adding vectors graphically. Specifically, one of the things we can look at is it's like adding the opposite of the vector. So if I think of my equation a minus b, it should be equal to a plus a negative b. So now let's look at an example of adding the opposite method. So let's take the example of vector a and vector b, shown here in the blue and the red. Well, if this is vector b, I can define my negative b as a vector which is exactly equal but pointing in the opposite direction. And just to show you that it really is opposite, I can place it here over on top. Now, if I was going to add vector a plus the negative of vector b, then I use my tail-to-head method here. I go along vector a, and then I go along the path of negative b. Well, when I do that, the result of adding a and negative b gives me this vector right over here. So again, here's my adding the opposite method. I go along my vector a, along the negative of b, and that gives me my vector a plus a negative b. But there's another method of doing graphical subtraction called the head-to-head -head method. Remember, in addition, it was a tail-to-head -head method. So let's see what that looks like. So when we look at our second method of subtracting vectors, we want to be able to compare these two. So I'm going to take my vector over here and just move it slightly off to the side, and take my negative b and move it out of the way, and take a look at what happens if I use my head-to-head -head method. So I take a and b, and I line them up so that the head of a and the head of b line up together. If I then connect from the tip of A to the tip of B, where I'm talking about the tail ends of these two arrows, I then get my vector here, which is A minus B. So rather than having to work specifically with my negative B factor, I can just directly subtract A and B using a head-to-head -head method. What if instead of doing a minus B, I wanted to do B minus A. Well, when I use the head-to-head -head method, what I realize is I still have A and B lined up exactly where they are, but now I go from B to A, and I find my B minus A vector. And it's exactly the same length as A minus B, but points in the opposite direction. So again, reviewing, if I do the head-to-head -head method, I line my a and b vectors up and go from the tip of a to the tip of b, and that gives me a minus b. And if I want to do b minus a, I line my two vectors up exactly the same, but have my arrow going the other direction. So that gives you two different ways to think about graphical vector subtraction. And you can see how they relate closely to graphical vector addition.